Coming up next, a famous rap artist actually buys a planet and tends to use it for the greater good. Good evening, I'm Krishna Davis. And I'm James Hacker. Starting off with some new breaking news today, a new planet has been created. The planet is named after the first person ever, Soulja Boy. Soulja Planet was created and named by Soulja Boy himself on the third and final day of his NASA internship. The planet has multiple stars revolving around it, including the sun. It is approximately 400 times the size of the sun and has at least twice the density of it. The planet was made with an abundance of water, energy, carbon, and other elements needed for life on it and similar to the Earth's atmosphere. Soldier Boy plans to create a theme park on his Soldier Planet named Soldier World, scheduled for a grand opening on 2030. He hopes to host a bunch of concerts, festivals, and more at his one of a kind amusement park. Watching Soldier Boy work is one of the most inspiring things I've ever witnessed. He truly is a remarkable human being, as well as a goat in the rap game. I would say Soldier Boy's intellectual levels are far beyond mine. Well, in a rap battle, I think uh, Soldier Boy would demolish me. Can you believe that? It's pretty cool. I've never even heard of the man in my life. You, you've never heard of, never heard of Soldier Boy. <sighs> All right. Well, next up. Here's an inside look at the bacon thief and his Waffle House brawler. Down in Lake County, a man was arrested for starting a fight and stealing bacon from the local Waffle House. Apparently the bacon was too crisp for his liking. Bacon Man is currently in Lake County Jail awaiting his sentencing. Now live over to Cameron Barker to tell us more about this story. I'm Cameron Barker reporting to you live at the county jail where a man stole all the bacon from a Waffle House. Let's see if he'll answer some questions. Hi, sir. Why did you do such a horrible crime? Man, I almost choked on that shit. And after I went to tell the cook, he had some type of attitude. So next thing I know, we were on the ground. And after I beat that I took all the bacon and I went to share it. Was it worth it? Of course it was worth it. I'd do anything for those kids. But after I got home and I put that shit on the stove, the cops were at my door. It's okay. Thank you for your time. I look forward to speaking to you after your sentence. Wait, mom, dad, your grandchildren, come back. Wait, can I get your number? I'm getting out in six months. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, th thank you, Cameron. Thank you for the, uh, the Waffle House update. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't been to one in a while ever since, you know, ever since I got arrested and in the parking lot and all that. I don't, you know. You got arrested? <laughs> I've said too much. All right, so right after we come back from the commercial, we'll be with you with Harry Restrepo for the weather. This is Sally Ritz, your meteorologist. Well, we had quite a busy hurricane season this year with only one month left. We had 18 named storms and 14 of those have damaged land. Elsa broke a record for being the earliest fifth named storm ever. We had two cat fours, two cat threes, and three cat twos. Now the only name left is Wanda. Taking a look at the climatology, we see patterns continuing. Two streams of moisture are pushing warm temperatures up from the tropics. This will mean more heat 
and humidity for the eastern sun coast. You can see the red area indicates high temperatures and humidity. We are keeping an eye on this to see if the invest develops into another storm over the next few days. And here's the computer model from Friday. So let's take a look at the week ahead. Monday it will be partly sunny. Our high will still be around 70 degrees, but our week will get warmer from there. The low Monday will be 40 degrees. Tuesday the sun will be back. We'll have sunny skies and a high of 77 degrees. The evening will still be a bit chilly with a low of 43. Wednesday will be cloudy again, but our temps will continue to creep up higher. We can expect a high of 78 degrees and a low of 50. Thursday will be even cloudier. We'll have overcast skies all day. The high will be 80 and the low 55 degrees. Friday, there will be scattered showers on and off all day. We'll have a high of 82 degrees and our low will be 60, just in time for the weekend. The sun will return on Saturday. Partly sunny and a beautiful 83 degrees with another 60 degree low in the evening. And Sunday will be all sun. Our high should be 85 degrees around 2 p.m. and our low will remain at 60 degrees. Now back to you, James. Wow, that's incredible. I mean, temperatures are all over the place. I wonder if Soldier Boy has something to do with this. Or it could be the fact that we live in Florida. Yeah, that's actually, the, that's a good point, it is true, yeah. I'm sure you've heard of someone that's scared of heights or spiders. But have you ever heard of someone being scared of their own scream? Coming up after this commercial, we'll be kicking it over to Ed Fagan for more on the story. Are you tired of waiting for a viable donor? Do you need organs fast? Then come on down to Tanner's Organ Removal Service. Our process for removing organs is very simple. The only thing you have to do is give us a name and we'll do the rest. Don't worry how it's done. In fact, don't even question it. For a thousand easy payments of $19.95, you can have fresh organs hand delivered to your doorstep in three to five business days. Don't settle for the other guys. Call 1-800-88-ORGAN or visit our website at TORS.com. Call or click today. When Humphrey Nichols isn't picking his nose, he's trying his best not to scare himself. Humphrey was diagnosed with jitophobia at the time of his birth. This life-threatening condition is caused by a person being scared of their own scream. It was 2007. Jonathan and Vanessa Nichols were expecting their first child, a child with jitophobia, a condition that doctors say is one in a million. Uh, Dr. Flowery, we're rolling. Oh, oh, uh, yes, okay. Yeah, the, it's a really intense disease. Uh, he can be relaxing, sitting on a sidewalk, eating an ice cream sandwich, and boom, uh, he's spiraling out of control and having a seizure. The real victims here are the parents. Uh, and I feel very sorry for them. Well, I, I definitely think that there is a place for Humphrey in society. Uh, my, my recommendation would be a, a psych ward or some other such institution. Family and friends told the Nichols that Humphrey would probably be an outcast from society. And they were right. He has no friends. My first memory and, and our first experience was his 10-hour birth. After about the 10th hour, he was finally ready to enter the world, and I was just excited to be done. So I gave it one last push, and he screamed, and then nothing. I found out later that he had passed out in the nurse's arms, but I thought he died. Yeah. This has been, like, really, really hard for us. And just imagine, you can't bring your kid to the movies. We brought him when he was seven to go see Saw. He's like, ah, ah! We went home and after the grocery store, like right afterwards, yeah. and I mean, we saw a kid on a tricycle, and you'd think that he had seen, you know, death himself. There was there was a point when Humphrey was younger where we really seriously considered putting him up for adoption, but ultimately, at the end of the day, we just couldn't do that to other parents.
The Nichols quickly found a therapist, Dwayne Johnson, not to be confused with Dwayne The Rock Johnson, who helped guide Humphrey through his condition. Humphrey's my favorite client. It's a shame he has this life-threatening condition, though. Every day he's making progress. It's really inspiring, going from this pathetic little human that always yells and screams to a strong, capable young man. Wow. What an amazing story so far. Thank you for joining us or making it this far with us. Today in the studio, we have Humphrey Nichols, very brave man from what we've just seen. Now, Humphrey, may I call you Humphrey? Uh, what else would you uh, call me, sir? I don't know. So, Humphrey, it appears that the, that the screaming is affecting your life. Am I correct? Uh, yeah, that's like my whole condition. Humphrey, have you ever tried not screaming? Are you serious? Yes. That's like telling a p paraplegic person to get up and walk. And? What do you mean, and? Like, I, I, I can't stop screaming. It's a condition. I, I can't help it. So the screaming is affecting your life. How does this make you, how does this make you feel? I just, I get scared so often. I feel like I'll be like in the grocery store. And it's like I'm, I'm, I'm covered head to toe in peanut butter. And there's like, 20 vicious dogs and a naked dude just chasing after me. I'm gonna get my face ripped off. That reminds me of my college days. Interesting. So, Henry, I understand that uh, you have certain triggers that invoke this, if I'm correct. Yes, sir. Yes, I understand. Humphrey, I think I, think I can help you. I think I have something here to show you that you need to see. I would love to see it. Okay. One moment, if you don't mind. Humphrey, I want you to take a really good look at this and tell me how it makes you feel. <laughs> Look at it! Look at it! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Just calm down, breathe. Breathe, you're okay. You're in a safe place. We're safe. We're safe. Are you, are you okay? You okay? <laughs> Just as they hoped, Humphrey is beginning to conquer his jitophobia. Instead of suffering seizures every time he screams, he now only spooks himself until his parents get him to stop making any noise. I just take both my hands and I put them over his mouth and I just start shaking for about like, you know, 10 seconds and then he just goes to sleep and we can breathe again. Wow. Look at the lungs on that guy, oh my god, holy cow. How could you say that? My daughter has that same condition. That's really insensitive of you. <laughs> uh, I apologize, sorry, it's just, it's not my problem. Anyway, next up, we're actually be covering a story, <laughs> finally. Um, we're covering a story of a young aspiring basketball player that his dream is to make it in the NBA. Coming up right after this break. Hi, I'm Marty with Tape, and I'm here to sell you tape. That's it, nothing else, just tape. You got a broken pencil? Tape it. You got a broken computer? Maybe try taping it. You got a broken piece of paper? Try taping it. The only thing tape can't fix is my failing marriage, but I'll sure try. We got all sorts of tape down here in Marty's Tape Emporium. We got red tape, yellow tape, white tape, gap tape, duct tape, scotch tape, all sorts of tape just for you to try. And if you call this number right now, ask for me, Marty with Tape, I'll give you a buy one, get one free deal on tape. That's it. We only got tape, but call this number and you'll get a deal. That's Marty with Tape. Ask for me. I'll see you here at Tape It Emporium. Have you ever wondered why some people are successful and, well, 
you just aren't? Well, maybe it's because you aren't as much of a go-getter as some of the people you see on billboards and TV screens. Yeah, you're right. I mean, we've got a wholesome story for you today. Boogie with the Hoodie's younger cousin, LeBron George, what in tarnation is that name, has begun his harsh training routine in order to make it into the NBA. That's a, that's a pretty clever joke you got there. Uh, LeBron says he wants to make it to the NBA to fulfill his father's last wish before he passed away. Let's hear more from the story. Right now in this league, I'm the best baller around. No one compares to me. No one in basketball compares to me. The only comparison is maybe Jesus. But if we played one-on-one, -on -one, I think we all know how that would go. No one should take credit for what I've done except me. I'm the best baller around. I'm very religious. Actually, I have my own religion. It's being the best baller around. I crucify myself. My faucet, it doesn't spray water. It sprays wine. That's it. Watch and learn. touching story that was. Hopefully George is able to bring his dreams to life through hard work and perseverance. Let's hope for George's success everyone. <laughs> That's a good one. I only think there should be one LeBron on the court though in my opinion. I think everyone deserves a chance though. Uh, not if you have two first names. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in to tonight's broadcast of the local news station. I am so thankful you guys are here. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow when we learn how to make the best apple pie in the air. We, we can't. What do you mean they took it off the air? What? They Where? fired me. Uh, Wait, what are you talking about? Are you not? Hello? What happened? Uh, yeah. So apparently, I am out of a job now. So don't forget to have a great night. You know, I'm actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show myself out. I don't actually need to be here. Um, Where are you going? Have a great night, guys. Um, namuste, I don't know what they say, but whatever. Have a great night. See you guys whenever. If, if anyone's hiring, definitely call me though, because I don't have a job. We'll be right back uh, after no, this. No, we're not. Don't lie to them. Don't lie to them. Have a great night, guys. Hello. See ya.